Hey y'all, it's your girl Shonda, aka The Ball and the Beautiful, back with another video. If you have not already asked that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, be sure to like the video and leave a comment down below. Coming back today with my What I Wore Last Week video. Um, a little late filming this, but I figured better late than never. So we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video. I last filmed on the 11th and I did provide with you uh, the scent that I wore on that date. It was Instant Crush. Uh, so picking up on the 12th of July, I wore the Chronic, and that's by Byron Perfumes, or Parfums. And with this one, fairly new to, fairly new to my collection, I did get this one back in June, um, around mid-June and I got this one from Crystal Fragrances. I first heard about this perfume um, from uh, one of Perfume Lover, Perfume Lover 80 I think is her channel name. I'll put it down below um, just in case um, I'm wrong with the name but I first heard her speak about it and she kept talking about the chronic, the chronic and the first thing I thought about when I heard the chronic is of course Dr. Dre. I'm thinking marijuana but it it does not does not smell anything like marijuana of course um it is a a unisex perfume launched in 2019 and you know i like to go over notes um top notes are cinnamon pepper excuse me cinnamon and pepper the middle notes are amber leather and patchouli base notes will be sandalwood and white musk um it kind of puts me in the mind of Angel Share. Um, I think it's probably that cinnamon in there. Um, but it kind of, it, 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 it reminds me of Angel Share, but without the booze. So not boozy at all. Um, it is uh, kind of sweet. Um, once it dries down some, I do get the leather note in it. I can't say that I smell the patchouli, but um, that's one that I would like to keep in uh, in my collection. So that was again the Chronic by Byron Parfums. All right, and let's. The next day was Tuesday, the 13th, and on that day, and I'm just looking down to grab my perfumes. <laughs> on that day, I wore 1872 by Clive Christian. Oh, and let me go back because I did say I was going to try to make note of things like longevity. Um, like I said before, I work from home, so I'm sedentary in one spot. Nobody really at home with me but my son. He's not really caring about my perfumes. Um, so I can't tell you about necessarily about the projection. You know, I have project, projected um, so many feet away, but I can tell you with the chronic i put it on around 8 a.m and by 2 p.m according to what i have it was more of a skin scent um so it's strong when you put it on i smelled it for quite a while you know i would catch whiffs of it throughout the day um but again by two o'clock it was um a skin scent so on tuesday the 13th i wore 1872 uh for women by Clive Christian and with this one you know I'm going to Fragrantica my best friend this one is considered a flute this one is considered a fruity floral uh, the notes in this are bergamot Amalfi lemon rosemary tangerine pineapple and blueberry those were the top notes middle notes of lily of the valley violet osmanthus rose freesia jasmine and orchid the base notes are oak moss virginia cedar musk sandalwood gayak wood and patchouli so i smell all citrus in this so it is a real real freshy 
in my opinion. Um, so with that one, it's full on citrus for me. I actually don't smell any of the other notes, um, but it is a a very nice scent. Clive Christian is kind of expensive, so I'm glad that I was able to find a small bottle at a reasonable price. Well, the next day is Wednesday the 14th, and on that day I wore Amo Ferragamo. I can see that. This was one. I got that one on one of the discount websites. Um, I think at the time it was about $30 and it was a blind buy. Um, I'm happy that I got my hands on it. Um, it smells different on this strip than it does on my skin. Um, if you've heard anything about this fragrance, you probably heard people say, you probably heard people compare it to like an orange creamsicle and that's exactly what I get on my skin. But on this paper for some reason, it doesn't smell like that. So, looking at the notes, um, top notes are Campari or Campari, C A M P A R I, uh, also black currant and rosemary. The middle notes are rhubarb, jasmine sandback, and mate. I don't even know what that is. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, it's a bitterish tea note from Latin America. Okay, so I never heard of that before. Um, base note is or base notes are Tahitian vanilla and broxen and sandalwood. So let me look at that Campari or Campari. I'm not sure the pronunciation of it. See what that is. Okay, it's a beverage. Um, well, group is beverage. Uh, bitters, fancy note, useful for sparkle and vibrancy. Yeah. So I have well. I don't know what note gives it the the creamsicle scent, but now that it's settling down on the strip, I do smell the orange creamsicle, so that's a good one. If you haven't smelled that one, um, try to get your nose on it. It's, it's one that I do enjoy. All right, so that was Wednesday. So next on the 15th, I wore one of my newer fragrances, and that was the uh, Black Opium. Let me go back. I'm sorry. The 1872, I put on around nine, and I could smell it to about noon. And by the end of my shift, which was two o'clock, it was a skin scent. Uh, for the Amo, I unfortunately did not notate um, the longevity of it, um, but black opium is what I wore on Thursday and I actually I don't know I had some things going on Thursday that I actually did not put a fragrance on um, during the day so I actually put this one on Thursday night after I showered and it was still going strong the next morning my day starts about 5 36 o'clock so I know at least until 9 or 10 o'clock the next day I was still able to smell this. Um, so it was again Black Opium Intense. Uh, with this one, let's see, with this one the top notes are Absinthe, A-B-S-I-N-T-H-E, uh, and Boysenberry, let's see. Absinthe is, the group is very on this as well. It doesn't give me, on, on for Grantica, her usual, doesn't give me any more information than that. Um, like I said in the second note for the top note is boysenberry. Uh, middle notes, coffee, jasmine sandback, and orange blossom. And then the base notes are vanilla, licorice, and sandalwood. So... This one is good. Like I said, I, I wore it for, I wore it overnight. You know, you're tossing and turning in the night. You know, sometimes your scents may uh, rub off by the time. Well, I don't know if I'm the only, well, I know I'm not the only person, but I don't know if you, any of you all uh, wear fragrances at night. Uh, but when I do, most of the time when I wake up, I might be able to smell on my pillow just a little bit. Um, but the scent is pretty much rubbed off and I can faintly smell it the next day on my skin. But this one, 
this one was still going strong and I only sprayed it on my skin. I didn't spray it on any clothing. So I felt that felt like that was pretty good. Um, let's see. Now on the 16th, I wore one of my new scents. This, I spoke about this fragrance in um, the last video I posted. Uh, my little mini haul. I purchased this one from Ulta and it's the Burberry Her Intense. So, I wore this one. By the end of the week, I guess I forgot about making all my notations about longevity and things like that. But this one, I want to think I've heard people say that uh, the original Burberry Her smells like Baccarat. This one is in my mind, or to my nose, very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. Not a dupe by any means, but it does have some similarities in the smell. And it is actually um, created by or made by um, Francis Kirkjohn. Um, with this one though, let's see, the notes are listed as red fruits and blackberry. That's top notes. Middle note is jasmine and the base note, base note is benzoin. I want to get a larger bottle, but at this time it's not necessary. I'll probably wait until I get maybe halfway through that bottle at least before I go ahead and purchase a uh, bigger bottle. Okay, so now that brings us to Saturday. Saturday I actually wore two scents. Um, the first scent that I wore um, was in the morning, you know, when I got up and everything. I put on a new scent, but that was... And I don't have a full bottle, I only have a decant, um, or I guess a sample that I got from scentsplit.com. If you're looking for decent samples, you know, try to get your nose on some things to see if you want to actually bite the bullet and make purchases, I do recommend or suggest um, checking out scentsplit.com. I've been purchasing them from them for a couple of months now, and they never disappoint. Shipping is... Um, Fast in my opinion, they're out of Texas, and I can't remember right now what city in Texas, but um, I suggest checking them out. But this was again Gold Night, and I do not recall whether or not I got a smaller sample of Gold Night before, or if I went ahead and picked up that. I can't. I think it's like either a nine milliliter or a ten milliliter, ten milliliter um, sample, but. It, I, I like it. It's um, an amber woody fragrance is what it's listed as. And I'm trying to see. Oh, you know what? That's why. Okay. Because <laughs> um, a lot of Killian fragrances, from what I understand, are uh, unisex. But this one happens to be made for men. And I know that you can wear what you want, when you want, you know, what have you. But when I put it on uh, the other day, I was like, oh, you know, it, it smells, I felt like it smelled masculine. But that wasn't a problem for me. I feel that sometimes I do possess quite a bit of masculine energy. So maybe that's why I was okay with uh, wearing the fragrance. But I also sprayed it on my son to see how it smelled on him. And it smelled, you know, equally nice on him. Uh, but the top notes in this one are anise and bergamot. The middle notes are honey and vanilla, and the base note is patchouli. I think I've said in one of my videos before that patchouli is a note that I do um, enjoy. It kind of reminds me of uh, incense. Um, years back, I had a friend who had an, had an aunt who would always burn patchouli incense, and so I think that's where I got used to smelling uh, the scent, and you know, it just appeals to me. Um, but yeah, um, made for men, but you anywhere anyone can wear whatever they want. Um, so that was again Saturday during the day, and I was actually invited to um, an outing or a party uh, Saturday night. So of course I had to shower and get ready and apply a different scent, and so. 
I showered and got dressed and I needed to apply a different scent and it was a toss up between Black Phantom and the fragrance that I actually chose. Um, the fragrance that I chose was Angel Share. If you follow me um, on Instagram, I've talked about Angel Share before. I think I also mentioned Angel Share in one of my videos. Look at this spray. Oh. But Angel Shares is bae. <laughs> um, I have, I'm not even halfway done, not even close to being done. There's barely a dent in this bottle. Well, it looks like it's one if I flip it over that way. But I absolutely love that scent. I love it so much that, like I said, there's hardly a dent in there, but I've already purchased, a couple months ago, purchased a backup bottle. I purchased a backup bottle before they actually came out with the refills. A Nordstrom, um, representative of my area let me know that they were coming out with the refills but i couldn't wait and i don't know why i couldn't wait because you know just the scent had just come out so it's not like it was going to be discontinued anytime soon but i absolutely love the scent and the bottle i mean the bottle is everything it looks like a little you know a glass for an alcoholic beverage it's so cute um but this one is um considered an amber vanilla it's considered an amber vanilla scent. The top note is cognac. Cognac queen over here. Uh, middle notes are cinnamon, tonka bean, and oak. And the base notes are praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. So it does smell, smell. It does smell very boozy to my nose. I do enjoy that. The cinnamon, um, I've heard people mention or seen people say that it kind of puts them in the mind of like an apple pie or something like that you know those are kind of heavy on the cinnamon and spice but it's just good it's just good if you haven't I suggest getting um, a sample of that and I actually the first time I smelled that is when I got a sample from um, scentsplit.com I want to believe I started out with a little sample uh, one of their either one or two milliliter samples and at the time I didn't want to pay the $195. So after I got that sample, I ordered um, the nine or 10 milliliter uh, sample, the same size as this one. Um, once I decided, or once I went ahead and bit the bullet and got the full bottle, I gave this the sample I had in this size to my son and he's been wearing it. Um, so that one, let me see if they notate that one. Yeah, so they list that as a unisex scent. So it is indeed unisex. Um, it smells good on both myself and my son. Um, so yeah, that's one that I do want to keep in my collection for as long as possible. Even though I already have a backup of that, I do plan to order some of the refills, at least two. So one of the refills would fill up this bottle. And this is only 1.7 fluid ounces. Um, I wish they made this in a larger bottle, like a 3.4, um, but they do offer the, I guess it's called a carafe, um, in the angel share, but it's like seven, yeah, seven hundred dollars, and it's just not in the budget at the moment, but I do, and, and the carafe is 250 milliliters, so I don't know if y'all can see, but that's what it looks like. And you can take and use it to refill um, your smaller bottles, or you can just, like I said, purchase a refill, which this is the refill. Um, purchase a refill and refill your bottle um either way um i'll be getting i'll be getting a refill probably to start off with and one of these days i might bite the bullet and go ahead and buy a corral because if nothing else i can decant and sell that myself um but yeah that is all that i have for you today those are all the scents that i wore from the 12th to the 17th like i said the 11th i spoke about that in the video that i filmed on the 11th and um, I'm going to try to make sure that I film the video for the fragrance I'm wearing this week 
on Saturday, Saturday evening, so that I can get it out on time. Life has just been lifing, and I did not have time until now to uh, film the video. I, I did do the haul video, and I wanted to go ahead and get this one out a little sooner, but like I said, life has just been lifing, and I hadn't been, been able to get it out. Um, I will have another haul video um, for you all. I'm going to try to film that on maybe Friday, and then do the what I wore this week on Saturday and go ahead and get those out. So possibly a video coming out on Saturday and then one coming out on Sunday or depending on when I'm able to uh, get them edited. If it's kind of short like this one, I can go ahead and get it edited a little bit sooner. But yeah, those videos will be out to you all soon. Um, so yeah, again, that's it. <laughs> um, if you watched the video this far, I ask that you go ahead and leave me a bald head emoji down below. I'm uh, also asking again, this is your reminder, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and please leave a comment. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances. Um, have you smelled them? Are they on your radar? Or is, is it something you want to try? Have you heard of Scentsplit.com? If so, have you purchased any samples from them? Um, what have you purchased? Um, what's your favorite fragrance? You know, just anything. Leave me a comment down below. It's greatly appreciated. Again, like the video helps the algorithm helps my video to be um, distributed to on these YouTube streets, you know, getting into people who I don't know, people who may not follow me, people who do not know that I exist. Get me into their awareness. Share this video with your family and your friends, you know, people who may like fragrances, people who may not know that they like fragrances until they see my video. You know, they hear me talking about these fragrances and makes them want to run out and get them. So yeah, that's again all y'all. I appreciate you. If you've liked any of my videos, watching the videos in the past, I appreciate you greatly. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.